Hey everyone, and welcome back to this class, the NumPy stack in Python. In this lecture, we are going to look at another data set with pandas. For this exercise, you'll want to be in the folder airline. So let's first have a look at the data. It's in the file international airline passengers.csv. We can see that there are some column names, and they are pretty ugly. There's also these three rows at the bottom that appear to be irrelevant, so we'll need to remove those as well. So let's start up IPython. Let's import pandas. And let's load in the data. Okay, so I'm going to explain these arguments later. Now notice there are a couple new things here. First, we don't pass in the header argument because by default, pandas reads the header. We also know that we want to skip the three footer rows, so we pass in skip footer equals three. In the real world, you would have found that out by reading the pandas documentation that I showed you earlier. In the documentation, it says that skip footer does not work with a default engine, which is in C. So we need to explicitly pass in engine equals Python. The first thing we notice is that the column names are really ugly. We can check them using df.columns. We can also reassign the column names and pass it a list. So let's do that. So now the column names are much better. Now we already saw that we can select a column by passing its name into the square brackets. So for example, df passengers. But we have an alternative method when the column names are strings. So we can do this. And it returns the same thing. Of course, this would not have worked if the column name had spaces in it like it did originally. The last thing we'll look at in this lecture is adding a new column. When you study machine learning, you'll learn that we can add a bias term to the data set by adding a column of ones to the data matrix. So if we do this, df of ones equals one, this adds a new column called ones, and each row will have the value one for that column. So we can do df.head to check, and indeed that is the case. One question you might have is, what if you don't want to assign the same value to every row? We'll look at that later when we discuss the apply function.